Yes, I can see how this would affect our sales greatly. The video and email feature seems so user-friendly, and I'm impressed by all the comments made by these classified customers. But also make it easier for my salespeople to sell phones and service agreements. Well, you'll ha be happy to know that the CPM chip is about the size of a small fingernail. It's inside that phone. This means that phones with our chips can be smaller and lighter. As you can see by looking at these phones here, they are incredibly light and compact. Of course, that's really cool. Customers are always looking to buy the new trends. Can you see how phones like this can create customer interest? You definitely can. We also have worked very hard to make sure our services are very cost efficient, as I will show you here. How can a newer and more innovative chip be more cost efficient than the one that we're already using? Well, that's a good question. Using our newest chip, the MSM7600, <coughs> it costs about half as much to send one megabyte of data. Your company could save millions on that fact alone. It's a huge difference. Okay, Andrea, I'm going to show you how to upgrading your chip would uh, be beneficial through this value analysis. Our product will cost you about $125 per chip. That sounds a little bit expensive. I know. At first it may, but let me break it down to you. Let's just look at the benefits if we were half, um, if your customers were going to have to switch to a newer model. All right. Currently, you are, you are using our CDMA 2001 uh, technology. This costs you anywhere from 15 cents a megabyte, if you can see here, in rural areas, and 6 cents a megabyte in the urban areas down here. When you compare this, on the other side, to the new chip, the difference is staggering. With the new chip, it costs only 7 cents a megabyte and in rural areas, a little over 2 cents in the urban areas. This means that you could cut your data cost in half. Well, that would save us millions. Yes. With the average customer using 50 megabytes a month, this could save your company almost $77 million a month. Does that up fast. Yes, and also the trend is also starting to shift towards more and more internet usage. Like I showed you on our phone here, um, so these savings would save your company even more features. I see what you mean. Don't you? <laughs> also, due to the fact that your phones will um, be smaller and more stylish, like this phone here, you, should see it, you would see an increase in new customers along with an increase in more upscale phones being purchased. I think we're both aware of the fact that the phones the company has to offer it is a huge selling point for people to come in there and buy their phones, especially with kids that want new phones. They want the updated ones. <coughs> exactly. If you just look at what um, Singular has done in the past with the Razer phone, it's been astonishing. Yes. You can do that here, too. All you have to do is choose our new chip. I'm worried my customers will find this new technology a little bit difficult to adapt to, though. I understand how you feel. It is kind of difficult, but one of our customers, Sprint, felt the same way. They actually found with our new chip, cell phones were uh, more user-friendly and they better satisfied their customer needs. Wouldn't it be better to make things easier for your customers? Yes, that's something that we definitely take pride in. But I'm also concerned that our customer will have to retrain our sales force on the new models. Okay, but how will updated training be negative to your employees? It'll cost us a lot of money and time. You're right, it will cost you more time and money, but this change will require some training. But this investment is crucial for Verizon's competitive advantage. By being more innovative, you will be surpassing your customers' abilities and gain much more market share. Now, isn't a more knowledgeable and productive sales force more important to you than, you know, spending a couple bucks on a new chip? Yes, I agree it's more important. My sales team will be able to sell more phones and feel more confident in their abilities if they're trained up to up-to-date technologies. Exactly. Is there anything else other than the customers finding this new technology to be difficult to utilize that is holding you back? I've heard that purchasing your newer technologies requires radical changes to be made in the company's infrastructure. Yes, the infrastructure. We get this question a lot. I'm glad I'm able to clear up this false notion for you. Our CDMA technology has its own data protection and authentication and is designed to work with the business existing IT infrastructure. Therefore, you won't have to change anything. It goes with security solutions as well. It seems too easy. Not only is it easy, it is also easy for IT, IT departments to install and maintain and requires the same level of customer su support as high-speed access. I'm also afraid that making this large purchase and newer technology, that a newer technology might come out soon after. Some, like an example of all these phones here. Mm -hmm. Yes. The technology is exactly why you should buy it. In the fast-changing world of technology, you should stay on the cutting edge, and your, otherwise your customer is as good as dead. But why shouldn't I wait till the next level of chip comes out? Because, Andrea, the repercussions of not acting far outweigh the cost of acting now. 
you choose not to act now, your company may not be around for the next revolution in the cellular industry, and those competitors like Sprint and Kyocera might surpass your company. And to your point, if we don't continue to stay on the cutting edge of technology, we'll lose a large portion of our customer base. Exactly. And we both don't want that to happen. I'm aware of your reluctance. This is a common concern in the technology industry. However, the industry has found us to be the leader in wireless technology. We realize the importance of research and development and invest a lot of time and financial resources to support this department. I'm really impressed, Katie. Aren't you? Yes, I'd be proud to tell customers that our products are derived from the leader in wireless technology. Should I write you an order for the trial shipment or do you want to purchase these, chip, these chips um, for all your phones right now? I haven't made the decision to use your chips yet. Okay, well, um, what, what's holding you back other than the fact that the new training that I explained to you and the cost of chips? I still haven't seen your customer's proposal. And when can I... Um, can you guarantee that my sales are going to even increase? No, I cannot guarantee that your sales will increase. But I can guarantee that you will stay on the leading edge of technology and surpass all of your competitors with a new technology. Okay, that sounds great. Um, but I do have a couple more questions for you. Um, CDMA is a very complex protocol. Doesn't CDMA require a larger frequency of allocation? Um, it does require a large frequency of allocation. And that's why we have Verizon, um, like you know, has many more infrastructures going up. Um, and so you're confused about the... I just heard that it's a little bit, it's, it's quite costly. It is quite costly, but as I said in the world, in the world today, um, we're not selling to, you know, underdeveloped countries. We're selling to the United States, um, the leader in, you know, innovative products. So you want to stay on the edge of things, regardless of the cost. Okay. And I've also heard that there are problems with signal fluctuations and overheating. How can you help our company with that? How can you guarantee that that's not going to happen to us? Okay, so you're worried about the overheating of the actual uh, phone? Yes. If we use your chip in our phones. Okay, other than putting it in the freezer, <laughs> um, you can, you know, I can get back to you in an email with that on how you can control the uh, temperature of the phone. I can't answer that right now. Okay. That sounds really great. I'm really excited to do business with you, Katie. Great. Would you like to sign on the line? Sure. Perfect. I'll have that sent to you next week. Great. Thank you. Thanks.